Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see the problem on integration over a given volume using spherical polar coordinates. So this is our question, solve this integration over the first octant of the sphere x square plus y square equal to z square equal to a square. How do we come to know that this is a sphere? Always remember every 2D equations can be converted into 3D equations in a similar way. Let's take an example. If we have a circle equation that is x square plus y square equal to a square in 2D, then in 3D, the equation will be x square plus y square plus z square equal to a square. Here it is circle, then here it should be sphere. Okay, the equation of line in 2D is x plus y equal to some constant a. In 3D, line will get converted into plane and the equation of plane can be x plus y plus z equal to a. Okay, so that's how you have to modify your equation and you have to think that if, if this equation is of 3, 2D, then it is a circle. And now this equation is of 3D, then it is a sphere. Similarly, we can have a parabola also in 3D, we can have ellipse also in 3D, we can have all the 2D figures in 3D also, okay? So now we have to perform this integration over the first octant and this are given and it is given that this is a sphere. So we have to use the spherical coordinate system because that will make our analysis very simple. So we put x equal to r sin theta cos phi this is the basic substitution you should remember. We put y equal to r sin theta sin phi and we put z equal to r cos theta. If you see r sin theta, r sin theta is constant. Here we have cos phi sin phi and here we have z equal to r cos theta. Then dx dy dz is nothing but r square sin theta dr d theta d phi. After finding this, we have to find the limits of integration. So first octant means it is in the first quadrant or it is in the positive side of the x and y axis. This is the first quadrant of first octant of the sphere. So let's we have point here and this is r. We will move this point. We will this consider this strip. Okay, since it is a polar coordinate, spherical polar coordinate, we will consider this strip. We will move this strip from this point till here only. So we are starting from this point and we are moving this in this way. So at this point, the angle varying is phi. So we are moving this strip from this to here. So phi is going, very, going from zero. Okay, phi is with respect to z axis and we are going till here. That means we are going till this plane, x, y plane and z is here an xy plane is here. So this line that is z axis is making an angle 90 degree with the xy plane. So theta is going from zero. This is theta. Theta is going from zero to pi by two for first octant. And after we get this part, we are going to move this part. We are going to move this part from here. We are going to move in this way. Okay, till here. That is we are moving from here till here. Here the angle is varying is theta is phi. So phi is going from this point till this point that is phi is going from 0 to pi by 2. This is the basic uh, limits for the first octant. So theta is going from 0 to pi by 2. Phi is going from phi is going from 0 to pi by 2. And then we have to find the limits of r. We have this first octant and we have considered some point p here. So a ray, since these are the polar coordinates and in polar coordinates, we always used to have a ray. So we will assume ray starting from origin going till the plane of this first octant of the sphere. So the lower end is R equal to zero. Upper end is on the sphere. What is the equation of sphere in polar coordinates? So it is X square plus Y square plus Z square equal to A square. When we put x equal to r sin theta cos phi y equal to r sin theta sin phi in this equation and z equal to r cos theta we get r square equal to a square which means that r is equal to a r equal to a in spherical polar coordinates represents sphere so r is going from 0 to a so you can directly write this limit without drawing this diagram also Okay, so you have to remember this limits that is for first octant R is going from zero to A that is we are considering one ray which is starting from the 
origin and it is going till the surface of the sphere then we are moving from theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 that is we are moving from this point till here on the xy plane and then we are rotating this part from here to here so that we get the first octant this this limits mean this area this volume okay so these are the limits now we will substitute these limits here first we will find what is x square plus y square plus z square because here we have that part also so we put x equal to r sine theta so it will be r sine square theta cos square phi plus y equal to this term when we put here we will get r square sine square theta cos sine square phi plus z square theta which will be r square cos square theta we can take r square common from each equation we will get r square and from this two equation i can take sine square common sine square theta common then we will have the cos square 5 plus sine square phi which will be 1 plus here we will have cos square theta then sine square theta into 1 will be sine square theta plus cos square theta so sine square theta plus cos square theta will be 1 so we get x square plus y square plus z square equal to r square